All right, we are drawing a self-portrait as though we are viewing the eclipse. So we're going to draw um, a circle for the head to start with, and that's pretty high up on our paper. And then we're going to draw the neck. And then we're going to draw shoulders coming out. And then we're going to draw straight down for the shirt. Okay, I'm gonna finish off the circle here for the head. And then I'm just gonna make a curving line here for the shirt. And then I'm gonna make a triangle shape for the sleeve of the shirt. And then one on the other side. So um, you're going to draw a diagonal line here for the arm, and then another one next to it. So this is kind of like a cartoon style um, drawing. It's not supposed to be realistic. And on the shirt, we're going to write 2024 Eclipse, I saw it. Um, before we get to that part, I'm going to have you draw the um, glasses, the eclipse viewing glasses. So you're going to come about halfway down the head, and you're going to make a line going across. And you're going to leave a little bit of space, and then you're going to draw a curve. So the curve is like for the nose and for the curve of the glasses. And then I'm just going to go straight out on either side of that curve. And then inside of that, on each side we're going to make a rectangle. So I'm going to make a short line, and then two long lines, and then a short line. I'm going to do the same thing on the other side. And then connecting that up and down. Okay, then I drew the smile. So you could have a closed mouth smile if you wanted to. But I thought it was fun for this one since we're doing the cartoon style to make it an open mouth smile. So I added the lips. And then I added in the teeth. Okay, then on each side of the head, curve for the ears. And then the hair. So if I'm drawing short hair, I could stop there. Um, I actually added a headband on mine and then my longer hair at the back. So easy way to draw the headband is just to stay real close 
to the curve of the head and just draw another curve. And then my hair at the back just comes from the top and follows the curve of the head. Now if I had shorter hair, I could stop here and just connect it in on either side. But since my hair is longer, you know, you could make it however long your hair is. I'm going to go all the way down to the shoulders. Okay, then in the sky I have my moon with the sun peeking behind it. So we just make these curving lines. And they don't need to be even or perfect. And then my details in the shirt. So two, zero, two, four, 2024. And then I just like went back over that. To make some black numbers. And then eclipse. E C L I P S C. Maybe I'll put an exclamation point after this one. And then I saw it. Okay, and then I will color that in. Um, on this example, I used the twistable crayons. I do like how that shows up on the um, regular white copy paper. And um, you might also want to outline it with black. I used a black Sharpie for this one. And you probably would want to draw yours with pencil first. Um, so we did have the eclipse here in the Buffalo area and it was really exciting. So I will be interested to see how my students um, will be coloring theirs in. You might want to draw like more stages of the eclipse in your background and um, I just wanted to show you how nicely the um, twistables work on the paper. So you just, you don't really have to even press too hard with the twistables, but they come out really smooth and nice on the white copy paper. They actually work better on copy paper, I think personally than they do on drawing paper, like the thicker drawing paper that we use for painting and for most of our drawing and our art projects. And especially if you're working on like a hard table, it really turns out very smooth. So like right now I have this sheet of paper underneath my artwork. So my colors come out even darker if I am um, just putting it right on the, the table instead of having a paper underneath. So good luck with yours. I hope it turns out just fabulous for you. And I hope you enjoyed viewing the Eclipse.